Hi, I wanted to introduce you to uh, document accessibility in Word. Um, we have the option now to do all kinds of things to make our documents and our digital content easier for someone with disabilities to uh, understand, like using screen readers, for instance, someone with low vision or blind. Uh, one way that I would start to do that would be to introduce the use of styles. So what I'm going to do in this document I've pre-set up is to add some of the styles available in Word on the Home tab so you could see basically what my document is looking like and the different content areas that I am setting up here. You'll see that I have already pre-set this up so I'm just adding the heading style. The headings are going to be useful for you and not only for your uh, people that are reading your documents. I'm going to go to the View tab and turn on Navigation Pane just so you can see how these headings work. If I click on Introduction, I jump there. If I click on Conclusion, it jumps me there. So the Navigation Pane is helping me get around, but also someone with a screen reader could easily utilize that as well. You'll also see that these then become collapsible sections, so then I could collapse and expand these sections in my document while I work. So that's a really nice thing and a good reason to use these styles like headings. Okay, so uh, from that point on, let me show you hyperlinks. So I've just clicked and copied in a hyperlink that I uh, this is one that I like a lot. It is from Custom Guide, and I'll just move over here to the internet so you can see it. Uh, this is just a quick reference sheet from a company called Custom Guide, and these are freebies, so I share this a lot. If I go back to my document, what I wanted to share with you is that if a screen reader is going to read that, it's going to see, say, H, T, T, P, colon, slash, slash, so that would take a long time to get through a link. Instead, consider using the insert, and it'll either say link or hyperlink. And I'll put in here Word Quick Reference Sheet. I'm going to put in text that I want to display, and then I'll just copy in the real address there. And what we get instead is this uh, easy-to-read link here. And someone can click that, and then your screen reader is just reading Word Quick Reference Sheet. Another great tip for you. Okay, so moving on to graphics. This is another important one with accessibility. In this case, I've got a graphic. If a screen reader approached this picture, it would actually read null, null, null over and over unless I went in and I added alternate text. A couple places to do that. You see there's an edit alternate text and there is format picture. I'm going to turn on format picture first and I'll click this and you see there is uh, a uh, alternate text title box. This is a day lily and I could type a yellow flower right in there. If you did it um, if you entered it there, then you've got that, but you could also go in, edit alternate text, and you can also generate a description. And let's see, it comes up with a yellow flower in the grass. So you could use that uh, description if you wanted to as well. Now, some people will also add captions. That's something different. If I wanted a caption, this is going to be a uh, something that shows up above or below the picture and uh, I get to position it where I want it. We can have it above or below and this would come in handy if I'm going to make a table of all the figures in my document. That's what a caption would be used for and there you see I've added the caption. That is different than the alternate text just so you're aware. The last thing I would show you about accessibility comes from the file menu. If you go into file and you go into info, there is an option to check for issues and you can run uh, to check for accessibility in your document. 
And then this comes back with anything that it is seeing that you might need to add some alternate text for. So it just helps you. You can go uh, and, and click on each of these items and then pull up the alternate text and fill that in if you need to. That's my little lesson on accessibility. I hope that helps you.